Did you know a plant is a chemist, a strategist, and an alchemist all at once? They are masters of survival, silently crafting complex chemistry to protect themselves. And in doing so, they gifted us with the most powerful allies for wellness that we have ever known. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lillian, and in this video, we're taking a deep dive into the stunning intelligence of medicinal plants and how their ancient wisdom works inside your modern body. So before we talk about what plants do with these special compounds, let's first answer what are they exactly? Plant compounds are the unique chemical messengers, defenders, and healers that plants naturally produce. You can think of them as the active ingredients inside the plant's pharmacy. And get this, they can be found in every single part of the plant, from the leaves, the seeds, the bark, the roots, and the flowers, or even the sticky resin or sap. Here are some of the most important categories. Alkaloids. These are nitrogen-based compounds like the caffeine in coffee beans or the morphine from poppy pods. They're often strong, bitter, and work as a defense. Flavonoids and phenolics. You find these antioxidants in things like berries, green tea, and colorful petals. They're the plant's way of guarding against UV damage and infection. Terpenes. These are the aromatic oils in lavenders, citrus peels, or pine needles. Their job is to repel pests and attract pollinators. So why do plants even make these? Well, it's simple, really. Unlike animals, plants are sessile. They can't move. They can't run from danger or relocate to better soil. So their entire survival strategy is chemistry. When a plant is under attack by insects, it might release compounds that make its leaves taste bitter, or even call in reinforcements by attracting predators that eat those insects. Some plants release chemicals into the soil to slow the growth of nearby competitors, giving themselves more sunlight and water. Others create dazzling colors, intoxicating scents, and sweet nectar to draw in pollinators or fruits that entice animals that carry their seeds far and wide. What's truly mind-blowing is that plants can actually regulate when and how much of these compounds they produce. They're adjusting to stress, seasons, or threats in real time. This flexibility is a major evolutionary advantage, allowing them to thrive in constantly changing environments. In short, these compounds are a plant's way of surviving, but as humans, we've discovered how they also protect, strengthen, and heal us. When most of us think of plants, we think of food, vitamins, minerals, protein, and fiber. But plants are so much more than nutrition. The real magic lies in their bioactive compounds, the very same ones they once created for their own survival. And we humans have discovered that we can borrow these strategies. Turmeric makes curcumin to defend itself from pathogens. In our body, the same compound acts as a powerful anti-inflammatory. Echinacea produces alchemites to deter insects. For us, they help stimulate immune cells, boosting our resistance during cold season. Ginseng builds gingenocides to thrive in harsh climates. We use them to increase stamina, energy, and mental clarity. Lavender's essential oils evolve to repel pests. For us, inhaling them calms the nervous system and eases stress. Willow bark developed salicin as a natural defense. That same compound became the inspiration for aspirin. And here's something even more fascinating. It's rarely just one single compound compound doing all the work. Plants are like symphonies, many compounds acting in harmony, a phenomenon called synergism. That teamwork effect is why a whole plant extract often feels different from an isolated lab-made version. Nature's layering its remedies with nuance. So once these amazing plant compounds enter your body, how do they actually get to work? Well, their entire journey is a sophisticated process called pharmacokinetics. And that's just a fancy word for how your body absorbs, distributes, metabolizes, and excretes a substance. Orally, this is the most common way through teas, tinctures, and capsules, but the compounds have to survive a brutal journey through the stomach acid and digestive enzymes first. 
Through the skin, think of lotion, salves, or essential oils. Many fat-soluble compounds can pass directly through your skin, which is why a calming lavender massage oil or arnica cream for sore muscles can work so well. Inhalation, this is the power of aromatherapy. Tiny molecules travel from your nose directly into your brain and bloodstream, offering almost immediate effects. Intravenous injection, this method bypasses digestion and skin entirely, delivering compounds directly into the bloodstream. It is used in hospitals or clinical settings. Once absorbed, the compounds hitch a ride into your bloodstream, traveling to their target tissues. Your body has a built-in checkpoints, like the blood-brain barrier that only allows certain molecules to pass through. Most compounds are then processed in the liver, which modifies them, often making them easier for the kidneys to flush out. Out. Think of it like mailing a package. It has to survive the post office absorption, travel the highways distribution, clear customs metabolism, and finally be delivered or not excretion. If anything goes wrong, the package never arrives at its destination. So how can you get started partnering with this natural intelligence? Herbal teas are a gentle daily way to get support like sipping chamomile for relaxation or ginger for digestion. Tinctures and capsules offer a more concentrated and convenient dose. Topical applications like creams and salves provide localized support for muscles and skin. And aromatherapy can be a powerful tool for mood, focus, or calming the nervous system. But here's the most important part. Herbal supplements are just that, a supplement. They are meant to complement, not replace a healthy diet and lifestyle. Plants can support you, but they can't outdo a foundation of processed foods, poor sleep, and chronic stress. Before we go, a quick gentle reminder, herbs and plant remedies are powerful allies, but everybody's body is unique and it's always best to talk with your healthcare provider before adding any herbal supplements to your routine, especially if you take medications or you have an existing health condition. If you enjoyed this exploration of medicinal plants and want to learn more about bringing the wisdom of nature into your daily life, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more from the Healing Harvest playlist. Remember, plants have been evolving for billions of years, quietly crafting the chemistry that helps them survive and helps us heal. By understanding their compounds and how they work in our bodies, we can better appreciate the incredible gift of nature nature's pharmacy. So the next time you sip herbal tea or use a calming oil, remember you're not just nourishing your body, you're partnering with an ancient powerful intelligence.